and I'm really excited to start our angel guidance for next week, the week of the 9th through the 15th of April 2018. You want to know why? Because I have a brand new deck that I'm going to be using this week. So I can't wait to receive our angels' messages for the upcoming week. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back! My name is Maria and in our video today we are receiving messages from our angels for the week of the 9th through the 15th of April 2018. So if this is your first time here, I invite you to go quickly to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new angel guidance or a new Reiki healing here in my channel. And as I told you, our guidance is coming from a new deck that I purchased this week. And that is The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. She's great. I love Gabby Bernstein. She's awesome. And her cards, this deck is so beautiful. The messages and the artwork, they are just great. So I, I was really excited to get this deck. We have 52 cards in this deck by Gabriel and we're connecting with our angels through her cards today. So as always, I ask you to just very quickly close your eyes and let's connect with her cards, with our angels. And as always, asking them to surround us with their light, surround us with their guidance, surround us with their protection and ask them to give us the right messages for this week. The messages that are going to make sense to you, that are going to touch your heart. Remember, if you're guided to watch this video, it means that there is a message here for you. There is something in this video, in this guidance, that your angels want you to know. Nothing happens for no reason. So remember that you are here because they wanted to tell you something. So let's continue to shuffle and ask the angels for the cards for Monday and Tuesday. And always asking them to give us light and to give us the right guidance. It's here, Monday and Tuesday. So now let's check for Wednesday and Thursday, continuing to shuffle and asking them again for which words which messages they want us to know about the energy. It's here, it's here. It's here. <laughs> Two cards, Wednesday and Thursday. And now for the weekend, I always, always ask them to talk to us, to give us the message that is really gonna make sense, that is gonna help us to understand. And the card is here for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I wish I could pull more cards because I love this deck, but it's just for the week. So for Monday and Tuesday, the card says, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. It's a beautiful message. And like I told you, the angels can connect with us through any kind of oracle deck, any kind of cards, any anything. Whatever you ask them to speak to your heart, they will. And today they are talking about prayer and they are talking about releasing your expectations. So for the beginning of the week, it's important to start in an energy of positive mindset, knowing that whatever is best for you is coming. Ask your angels for what you want but release your expectations of how exactly this is going to happen. Because it can happen in many ways. There are many ways to get to the same solution, to get to the same dream that you want. And sometimes because we think that whatever is in our mind is the right way, that's when the blockage happens. Because we put we tell the universe exactly how things should be. 
And that's not the right way of praying, the right way of asking your angels, asking the divine. The right way is telling them from an open heart exactly what you want, but releasing your expectations and knowing that they will give you what you want. They will give you what is best for you. And it might be different from what your human mind thinks. It, it will only make sense when you get there. So remember that sometimes we block ourselves because we tell the divine, imagine we are telling him exactly how he should work, but he knows best, he, kn he knows much better than us how we can achieve our dreams in the best way. Because sometimes we cannot even see the right way to go. We cannot even see how many doors more we can open. We only aim one. And sometimes there are so many doors that we can open. There are so many ways that we can go and reach the same dream. So remember, my dear, very strongly they are telling me now, the power of your prayers. When you pray, when you ask, when you acknowledge that the divine is in control, that your angels can indeed help, then everything around you will work towards your dream. So release anything that is blocking you from seeing this amazing energy that can create your reality. Remember that if you pray, if you ask them to align yourself with your dream, that's what's going to happen. So remember that everything you want to manifest, everything you want to get for your life, it's all about your energy. It's all about the way you see it. If you see it in a way that there are many obstacles, that, there, that it's not an easy road, that it's, it might not, might not even be possible to get there, then you're already blocked. Then you already told the divine that he cannot do it. You already told your angels that no, maybe you won't get it. But remember that they can get everything that you want. It's magical. They can create, they can help you with your own energy to create what you want. So release any blockages, release your expectations. And remember to ask for what you want, opening your heart and trusting that you will get there. So you will be taken. They will literally grab your hands and will guide you towards this path. And it might not even, like I told you, it might not even be exactly the path that you, that you thought it was best. Because they know it. They know what's best for us. So they will take you sometimes to a different way to get to where you want. Because that's going to be even better for you. But you just can't see it. So remember that sometimes we block ourselves because we think that things should go this, this, and this way. But it's not always like this. They can take different ways of achieving the same goal. Okay, my dear, but remember to begin your week putting your intentions, placing your intentions to your angels, asking them what you want for your week, Asking them what you want to heal. Asking them to come to your life. Take over your heart. And guide you towards the best. Remember, begin your week with your angels. Inviting them to be with you. Heal whatever needs to be healed. Harmonize whatever needs to be in harmony. Okay, my dear. So now let's check Wednesday and Thursday. We got two cards. So the first one says, The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome... 
surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work <laughs> it's exactly what i was talking about i love when this happens i love when the angels simply confirm what we are saying with the cards so they are telling you again for the middle of the week that the moment that you place your intention and you trust that this is possible, you trust that, it is, that you can indeed get there, then you're allowing your angels, you're allowing the universe to arrange everything and get you there. You surrender. You simply tell them, I'm here. This is what I want. This is what I think it's going to be best for you because that's what my heart is telling me. So I'm trusting my heart. I'm trusting my intuition. And I ask you to please take me there in your way and surrender. Trust. Because when you trust, you're telling your angels, go ahead, do it. Show me what you got. Show me how it's how is the way to get there and they will you will see that opportunities will start to come People will start to come to your life to help you You will start to receive more and more guidance. You will start to feel more and more connected synchronicities happening things start to get into alignment because you're simply living in a trusting energy. And when you trust, nothing can go wrong. Nothing. Because you are in complete alignment with the, with the light, with the divine, with your angels, and with your own light. So remember again, trust. Pray, ask, and simply allow them to work for you. Okay, my dear. And then for Wednesday and Thursday, again, the other card says oneness, onenessness, oneness, oneness, oneness. <laughs> oneness is my true nature. <laughs> A beautiful card. Again, coming back to the same message, coming back to knowing that you are one with the divine. There is a peace of the universe, of the divine light, divine energy that lives within you. That's what keeps you alive. That's what made you, that's what created you. So the other day, actually, Archangel Raphael was telling me, if we know that we are a piece of the divine, we are an expression of the divine, how can we dare to think that we cannot create what we want? How can we possibly think that we cannot reach things that in our minds are impossible? If we have Him living here, if we have this energy, this creation energy inside of us, we are one with the divine we are one with the angels we are one with source energy and when we truly understand of this connection everything is possible so remember this week the message is very strong about trust about allowing about aligning your energy Remember that you are one with all that is. We are all one. Everyone is connected. Because we are all little drops of the same ocean. Which is the divine. Which is the creation. Which is the universe. Whatever you want to call it. We are all one. We are all connected. We are, all this, we are all pieces of the same puzzle. So remember, my dear, that if your neighbor could do it, you can do it also because you are one with your neighbor. Remember that if someone else, if someone famous, if someone rich, if someone that you feel that has reached, has, has a perfect life, if you can see this person, 
remember that you can do it as well because you are connected to this person as well and you are both connected with the creation so if this person can create this reality it means that you can do it too everyone can we can all be abundant we can all be in perfect and, and loving relationships we can all be aligned with our health because we are a piece of the divine living here he is inside of us this energy is what keeps us alive so remember this week they are talking very strongly about the importance of trusting your guidance trusting your intuition praying stepping back and allowing them to come forward and take you to where you want weekend let's move on beautiful card i do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness it's beautiful so talking about this card now uh, th what they are asking you this time again actually coming in connection with the same trusting guidance remember that we are all one and the more we raise our own consciousness our own energy everybody raises as well because we are a collective consciousness everything and everyone is connected so remember my dear that when you remember that every little thing is connected remember that the more you work within yourself within your energy the more you expand and the more you reach possibilities of reaching your dreams and your goals the more you allow the universe to help you because you are in complete alignment you are expensive your energy is raising your vibration is raising and you remember that everything in your life is also connected so once you raise your vibration once you expand your consciousness this is also going to help the whole universe to expand consciousness the whole earth plane the whole, everyone in earth every human being to also expand because we're all connected okay so remember it's very strong it's very powerful this guidance for this week talking about trust talking about remembering who you are remembering that you are divine remembering that you can create everything and trusting allowing your energy to create it allowing your angels to help you allowing the divine to come over and help you and guide you and transform you so remember this my dear you are one with me you are one with your family with your friends with your colleagues with the security guide in your building with the driver you are one with absolutely everything with nature you're one with the divine you're one with your angels we're all one thing we're all we all came from the same source so remember this because you have so much power within you so unleash this work on this and allow the energy this positive vibration of the angels to help you to show you that you are light to show you that you can do it and this was our loving angel guidance for the week of the 9th to the 15th of april 2018 i hope it resonated with you beautiful soul i hope it touches your heart and finally helps you to understand that you are pure love and light you are one with what created you and you have so much power within you i hope it helps you to understand how important it is to trust yourself to, to trust your angels and to trust what created you if this message can help anyone you know remember to share it 
remember to bring some love to other people as well so they can also touch your friends your family whoever needs to hear this kind of loving messages from our angels if you want to receive daily guidance and also daily reiki healing you can always go to my social media I'll leave links in the description and also if you want to purchase this beautiful deck of gabby bernstein the universe has your back i will also leave the link in the description below it's free shipping worldwide so it's a quite good deal i will see you very soon again thank you so much as always for staying here with me i wish you a wonderful week always always in the company of your angels take good care of yourself trust your intuition trust your heart release your expectations and reach for your dreams i'll see you very soon again namaste <music>